Hey guys, it's Jeff and finally after like an hour over fiddling with multiple devices and kind of resetting everything, getting things started with iOS 12.1 on multiple devices, I've finally got group based time working on iOS 12.1. So that's a big relief because it seemed to not be working and now we can say that's officially one of those features that we were wanting to see in 12.1 and it actually is working. There's still a few bugs though, but as of now it works and you're able to get multiple people on one call and I think that's all that we wanted to see in beta one. So that is officially working. With that being said though, performance is still the same running iOS 12.1 as far as like CPU and GPU goes, but I have seen a slight change in battery performance over the past few hours now. After using both the iPad and the iPhone, I'm finding that battery life is slightly better actually compared to iOS 12. There were a lot of reports of like very poor battery life of like a lot of users running iOS 12 and that was most definitely not my experience in the betas so obviously something went wrong with the official release. But now on 12.1 I'm seeing a little bit better performance on the battery side of things which means that Apple has most likely streamlined some system processes to make everything work a little bit better and more efficiently. For those on iOS 12 with very poor battery life, stay tuned for tomorrow's video for some tips on how to improve that. So guys, thanks for watching this super short update video. Just wanted to make sure that you guys know that group FaceTime is working on iOS 12.1 beta one. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.